I can't. I, I can't with him. I, a Trump mask. After all the stuff with Colby. After all the stuff the past few months. You to Trump. You know what? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore because in a few hours, Jorge Masvidal, Street Jesus, one of the few people who have actually fought on a fight island from Bodog Fight, not Yaz Island, which Dana White decided to Willie Loman bag a good us. Instead of selling fake nylons, he decided to okey-doke everybody in the MMA community and say he was going to buy an island. But much like Billy McFarlane, it didn't really end well, and he probably owes a lot of people a lot of explanations. But luckily, no Evian water needed to be bilked. But tomorrow night on Yaz Island, Kamara Usman and Jorge Masvidal will face off for the UFC Welterweight Championship. And ever since Jorge Masvidal dropped Ben Askren in front of God and everybody, just about a year ago today, we were all expecting Masvidal's rise to a title shot. And much like any good stories, it had twists, it had turns, it had political intrigue, it had socioeconomic intrigue. At one point, we were going to look at Jorge Masvidal as a pseudo-MMA Che Guevara trying to lead the rebellion against Dana White. But it wasn't about a rebellion. It was about him getting the bag. See, he he wears a Donald Trump mask. He's a Cuban from Miami, so more than likely Libertad is not necessarily in his vocabulary, but getting a payday is the ethos of Jorge Masvidal, and that is the beauty of all of this. You see, Gilbert Burns and Kamaru Usman, that's a good fight, but... I'm not getting out of bed dancing and singing that tonight on SBN MMA. I'm going to be calling that fight and be all giddy. No, 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 no. This fight, this fight gets you out of bed. This fight makes you move, makes you feel something on a card with three title fights. Well, two, yeah, three title fights. And Jessica Andrade versus Rose Namajunas. Hell, Leading into this week, the main event was one of the weakest fights that didn't include Paige Van Zandt on the main card. And Paige, we wish you well in your future endeavors. Have fun in Bellator. Have fun on Instagram. Because the way things are going, no matter how good you are, that wing, that wing ain't helping. That mindset isn't helping. You look at Jorge Masvidal, politics or not, He's the second smartest man in the UFC, the first one being Conor McGregor, because he's been playing this the right way, because he didn't need to jump into a rematch with Khabib. He doesn't need to fight Poye. He doesn't need to fight Justin Gaethje for an interim title. He just has to wait and see how things play out. That's the levels to this is if Kamara Usman gets deuced out tomorrow night, who's Jorge Masvidal going to fight? Is he going to fight Gilbert Burns? No, he's going to want to fight Nate Diaz. He's going to want to fight Conor McGregor. And Dana White, well, you done okie doke yourself. Because Yaz Island may be your Waterloo because now you may have the biggest fight in the history of the UFC, awaiting you on the other side, but you may sacrifice that fight to the altar of Kamara Usman because Kamara Usman may be the best fighter at 170 pounds. There's not really an argument that you can make uh, for another alternative. Masvidal's the fastest rising star. Colby Covington is the blueprint of how Kamara Usman is an elite-level fighter and may be the best we've seen at 170 pounds. But momentum, momentum is a motherfucker. And tomorrow night on Yaz Island, I'm prepared to scream, Masvidal has run the table. Askren, Diaz, Usman. But for those who are culturally unaware, tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, SBN MMA YouTube channel, the Bloody Elbow YouTube channel, the MMA YouTube channel, everywhere 
that the SBN MMA light touches. I'll be there. I'm right here, too. Harry Turjanian will be there. Danny White will be there. But you've got to be there, too. Because if you're not dropping $70 on this, then you need to hear and see how we react to history. Hell, if you're paying the $70 and you just want to hear a fat white guy scream and yell and get hyped up the way I'm getting hyped up right now, then then, then you need to hit the mute button. No offense, John, Joe, and DC. And you need to listen to us. I'm not telling you lies. I'm too fat and too talented to tell you lies. But this Saturday, just a few hours from now, History's going to be made. Let's just see whose history really, really favoring.